Hi, welcome to the 11th lecture of the chapter Ionic Equilibria. In the last lecture, we have studied buffer solutions. In today's lecture, we are going to study Henderson Hasselbach equation of buffer solutions. So, for that, we have to consider an acidic buffer containing equimolar mixture of weak acid say HA and its salt say NaA. So what we have to consider? We have to consider an acidic buffer which contains equimolar mixture of weak acid. We have said it as HA and its salt that is NaA. Now in aqueous solution our weak acid dissociates as HA gives us H plus aqueous and A minus aqueous. So this is our equation 1. And our salt which is NaA it will dissociate completely to form Na plus aqueous and A minus aqueous. So this is our equation 2. Now apply law at equilibrium to equation 1. So what we get? We get Ka which is equilibrium constant is equal to product of molar concentration of products divided by molar concentration of reactants. So we have applied law at equilibrium to this equation 1. In this equation H plus and A minus these are our products and HA is our reactant. So Ka is equal to molar concentration of H plus into molar concentration of A minus divided by molar concentration of reactant which is our HA. So this is equation 3. Now since salt is completely dissociated. So as our salt is completely dissociated the molar concentration of salt which is our NaA is equal to the molar concentration of our anion which is A minus. Why molar concentration of salt is equal to the molar concentration of anion? Because our salt is completely dissociated or ionized. So we have to remember this thing. The molar concentration of salt is equal to the molar concentration of A minus. Therefore, our equation 3 becomes Ka is equal to molar concentration of H plus instead of a minus we have to write molar concentration of NaA divided by molar concentration of HA. So uh, this was our equation 3. So instead of A minus we have written NaA and all other things remain as it is. Now see it is equal to K is equal to molar concentration of H plus into molar concentration of salt. So NaA is our salt divided by molar concentration of acid. So this is our equation 4. What is our equation 4? Ka is equal to molar concentration of H plus into molar concentration of salt divided by molar concentration of acid. Now we have to rearrange that equation 4 for the H plus. So by rearranging this equation we will get molar concentration of H plus is equal to Ka into molar concentration of acid divided by molar concentration of salt. Why? Because say when see when we write it for H plus that acid will uh, go with the Ka. So Ka into acid divided by salt. Okay. So we get equation 5. Now we have to take negative logarithm of both sides of equation 5. So what will we get? We get C minus log of H plus why here minus log of H plus? Because we have to take negative logarithm of both sides. So minus log of H plus is equal to minus log of Ka minus log of molar concentration of acid divided by molar concentration of salt. So this is our equation 6. Now minus log of H plus is nothing but our pH. So we know that definition of pH it is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of 
कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस आई एन सो माइनस लॉग ऑफ पी एच प्लस इट इज अवर पी एच सो वी कैन राइट पी एच इज इक्वल टू हियर पी के ए सो माइनस लॉग ऑफ के ए इट इज इक्वल टू पी के ए वॉट इज पी के ए पी के ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग ऑफ के ए सो हियर वी हैव रिटर्न पी के ए माइनस लॉग ऑफ मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एसिड डिवाइडेड बाय मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ साल्ट नाउ पी एच इज इक्वल टू पी के ए विल रिमेन एज इट इज इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस वी हैव टू राइट प्लस सो हियर प्लस लॉग ऑफ मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ साल्ट डिवाइडेड बाय मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एसिड सो द न्यूमेरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर एक्सचेंज सो इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस हियर कम्स प्लस साइन सो व्हाट इज आवर फाइनल इक्वेशन पी एच इज इक्वल टू पी के ए प्लस लॉग ऑफ मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ साल्ट डिवाइडेड बाय मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एसिड सो दिस इक्वेशन इज नोन एज हेंडरसन हैसेल बैच इक्वेशन ऑफ एसिडिक बफर यूज टू कैलक्युलेट द पी एच ऑफ एसिडिक बफर सोल्यूशन सो वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ हेंडरसन हैसेल बैच इक्वेशन इट इज यूज टू कैलक्युलेट द पी एच ऑफ एसिडिक बफर सोल्यूशन इन दिस केस दिस इक्वेशन इज यूज टू कैलक्युलेट द पी एच ऑफ एसिडिक बफर फॉर दैट वी शुड नो द वैल्यू ऑफ पी के ए देन मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ साल्ट एंड मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एसिड सो वी कैन कैलक्युलेट द पी एच सो दिस इज अबाउट एन एसिडिक बफर सोल्यूशन नाउ सिमिलरली टू कैलक्युलेट पी ओ एच ऑफ बेसिक बफर the henderson hassel batch equation is as follows so all other things remain as it is and we get poh is equal to pkb plus log of molar concentration of salt divided by molar concentration of base so this is the henderson hassel batch equation for the basic buffer to calculate the poh so when we compare equation 7 and equation 8 so uh, instead of ph now there comes poh then instead of pka there comes pkb then salt will remain as it is and instead of acid there comes base okay so uh, we can easily compare these two equations so these two are the henderson hassel batch equations so what is their use the seventh equation it is used to determine or to calculate the ph of acidic buffer solution and this eighth equation it is used to calculate poh of basic buffer solution so this is all about the henderson hasselbach equation thank you